We have three more days until summer vacation. Good morning, Magnus Aiden. Good morning, Baby K. Mwah. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Uncle Brian and Pop Pop. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Well, yesterday, my students had a very special stepping up day and they performed on stage. Their parents and families attended and were very, very proud. And at the end of it, they marched off that much closer to being first graders. So we have a couple days left of school and it looks like those days are gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna spend some time together, enjoying each other's company and reflecting on the amazing year that we had together. So let's see if Uncle Brian is ready to take us over to work today so we can get this final Tuesday started. Let's head out. One thing that I remember disliking about school was not being able to celebrate my birthday each year. You see, my birthday is in August and August is one of the summer vacation months. So a lot of times we didn't celebrate those birthdays. And I remember year after year wishing that we could celebrate my birthday with my classmates, but not being able to because it landed in the middle of summer break. Well, we're gonna change all that now that I'm a teacher and today in class, we are going to be celebrating all of the summer birthdays. So everyone that has a birthday in June, July, August, and the beginning of September, all of those students who usually miss getting to celebrate in school are going to have their day to shine today. Today is going to be our birthday celebration day. Well, there he goes, my amazing brother, your terrific uncle, Uncle Brian, going to start his Tuesday. Let's put our stuff down and we'll start our Tuesday. Today I've got my lunch and I've got my sunglasses. Traveling light on a Tuesday. here yet. Let's go for that walk. Peekaboo, little fox on the beach. Yeah, I see you. So way over there is our fox. And over here is where the sunrise will be soon. Look at those colors out there. And it's hard to tell on camera, but that bird is an osprey and it's flying around looking for fish to catch. And if it spots a fish, It'll dive down into the water and try to scoop it up with its claws. Happy hunting. He's 
Eli's daddy spotted this frog. We've had so many animal sightings today. We saw a fox, we saw ducks, we saw an osprey, and we saw a frog today. There are so many animals that live right here in our neighborhood, right in the area around the school in Long Branch. Let this be a real world lesson to always check your spelling. That's not how you spell fence line. Now it's time to head back and see if Mr. Rocky's ready to let us in. Hi there, good morning from the U-shaped table. Today we saw so many animals on our morning walk, but the one I think I'm most excited about seeing was the frog. I can't remember the last time I saw a frog hopping around Long Branch, so that was a major find this morning. And I picked out a book that features frog characters. Today we're gonna to be reading this short little book, The Three Frogs. And The Three Frogs was written by Cynthia Rothman and illustrated by Robbie Short. And my students could tell you that this book is a fantasy story because the frogs on the cover are acting like people. They're wearing top hats and bow ties and are posing the way people pose. So we know this is going to be a fantasy story. Now on the back, there's a question to give us a clue about what we'll be reading today. What do the three frogs do? So as we read today's story, we're gonna see what these three frogs can do. So let's read The Three Frogs by Cynthia Rothman. The Three Frogs Hop. The Three Frogs Jump. Look at them jumping rope. The Three Frogs Dance, just like you and your mama and me. The three frogs flip. The three frogs beat. They're all beating their drums like they're in a parade. The three frogs play. The three frogs play the violin just like your cousin Jesse. And the three frogs sing. Me, 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 me. And that is the three frogs. And we did see in this fantasy story, frogs doing a bunch of things that people do. Real frogs don't jump rope. And I'm pretty sure real frogs don't dance. And I know for a fact that frogs do not play the violin. 
So this was a pretty funny story about three fantasy frogs. And it got me thinking about that little frog we met today on our walk. I hope he's doing good. I saw a fox around there, so I hope he's careful. Well, I'm looking at the time and we've got a lot of celebrating to do and I've got to clean up this classroom to get it ready for the end of the year. So let's wrap this up with a little peekaboo. We're gonna do two regular ones and one slow motion one. You ready? Here we go. Pee. Ka. Boo. Pee. Ka. Boo. Pee. I love you. Have a wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.